What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Brooklyn Frost dumped again. Ex-boyfriend goes off. I don't know. I had this to say to people worried about her relationship status. Let me let me, let me me end this video off with something. I want everybody that think mm. that they know everything about my life and everything that I'm doing to relax. <laughs> you don't know. You don't. I love my supporters. Thank you for rocking with me. But, like, in order to rock with me, you can rock with me and not be all the way in my business and be like, be weird. Congratulations to Daisha. She had her second daughter with boyfriend quick last night. Happy for them. Congratulations. Oh, so Brooklyn Frost is single again. She was dating a popular streamer named Melt. Well, here's what Melt had to say about uh, their breakup. You literally told me. Uh-oh. Your last nigga, your ex nigga, oh. is a nigga that kissed your ass. Ooh. He didn't fight back. Ooh. He just kissed your foot even when you stomped on his neck. Oh. The reason why we ended. Wait a minute. So fast uh. is because I put my foot down. Oh. There ain't no woman on this earth that's gonna walk over me. Never. Ever. Ain't no type, ain't no woman on this planet. Ever. It's gonna be a situation where we have mutual feelings for each other. Right. And we don't try to embarrass one another. Right. And that's what YouTube was missing. You want to get on here. You want to cop a please. Mmm. Cop up please. You are. I started this shit by my. My worth. Somebody out there is going to understand my worth. And there's things that happens off camera that y'all don't know about. Brooklyn, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. She... Her mouth, we've seen it, right? Even when Deshae was fighting um, King Sid, they supposed to fight. What are you doing? They fighting. That's the point of the event. That's what fighters do. That's what men do. Let them fight and move. You know what I'm saying? She showed her ass that day, okay? So this is no different. Stop. And I'm not saying I'm an angel. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I've done done some shit. But at the end of the day, I know my worth. <sighs> and um, this is just try I love myself take too much to stay in a situation that is not bringing me peace. You know, um, off and on camera for real. She full of shit. Um, I need to but yeah, there's her. no bad blood. Or anything like that. You know, I prayed on the situation. And God, for sure, has been showing me and telling me that this is not good for me. All right. But, yeah. Like, I, again, I said there's no... Jay Stinko has a new boo named Bella that he revealed on his channel recently. Um, Do I see myself dating her in the future? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. You feel me? Um, yeah, hell yeah, bro. Like that's, okay. just, that's all I want for real. You feel me? Like I'm ready to just lock in. You feel me? Like I don't know. I feel like when God sends you somebody, you gotta just take that. You feel me? You can't question them and you know second guess and play around. You feel me? Because I done had that opportunity where I had the chance and I played around. So definitely this time coming around, I want to definitely like you know take her serious and. See, see at least where this stuff could go, you feel me? If I put my 100% all into it and yeah. I really just, you know, I go about everything the right way. I really I really am surprised, like not surprised. I really want to see where it will take me, you feel for me, sure. or take us. You know, I really do want that for her, you feel me? I want to, I want to just, I don't know. I want to change her life, you feel me? Like, oh. I want better for her. In my previous oh. video, I reported that Lee broke up with her girlfriend, Drea. According to Lee, she said that Drea cheated on her. Drea responded back to Lee and said that she's never settling. Well, Lee's ex-fiance recently posted up a video with Drewski in the airport, so it might just be done for good for Drea and Lee. DDG responded to people Dang. that had a lot to say about him giving his son Alana. Hey, Why you you on your line, son? Oh. Steel butter. We got something to say because my I got my son to line up at six months. Listen, yeah, yeah, worry about your own kids. He came out of my balls, not yours. That's a fact. Worry about your own baby. Worry about your daddy. Out of my balls is crazy. Daddy, why your daddy couldn't afford to get you a haircut? Let me be a happy dad. 
Y'all want me to? Yeah, y'all so used to black people, black men. Now nah, I'm gonna preach. Y'all uh -uh. so used to black men being unpresent fathers. My daddy was there for me. So y'all not used to seeing a present father. So y'all got something bad to say. Y'all see, you know what I'm saying? Elephant in the room. Y'all see, ain't no other race said anything bad. Why do we do this to each other? Why we always got to fight each other? Why y'all always got to say negative things about y'all own race? Instead, you should have just said. Because niggas be hating. I ain't gonna lie. It's lying and it's crispy. Because it is. I know. Yeah, hating on this handsome young man. Got more paint than half people commenting on him. Crazy. Corey's girlfriend Maddie had some things to say after Corey went live the other day. Corey said that he was dropping a video with receipts soon, but I guess after Carmen announced that she hired a lawyer to help her press charges against Corey after he dropped a picture of her with no clothes on, I guess he went against dropping that video after all. Well, here's what Maddie had to say. I don't know why there's videos. There's a clip floating around of me saying that I addressed my boyfriend's ex. I'ma let y'all know right now. I'm not reacting to this full thing. I reacted to it on um, Patreon. I'm, 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 mm -mm. I'm gonna get y'all these next couple minutes though. That clip out of here. when I was talking about fighting and couples fighting was somebody asked me a question: How do I feel about domestic violence? And I was not referring to their situation at all. I already publicly on a on my Instagram live apologized to ever commenting on their situation online on social media because I wasn't there just like neither of you guys were. CJ has not done any of the things that y'all are saying he is going to do to me. He hasn't done them. Yet. So until he does, this is where I will stay. When he does. And as she should, because I'm in it right there, she has the right to feel that way, y'all. And she has the right to experience it. If she wants to experience it, she has the right to do so. So that's just kind of how I feel about the situation. Let her, you know, when people want to go through things, let them. And I'm not being funny. Like, I'm serious. Like, let them. Let her experience whatever it is that she needs to experience um, to get whatever it is that she needs to get out of the situation. And that's just kind of where I'm at with that. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. Y'all make sure y'all check out my Patreon. All the reactions to Carmen's video, Carmen's uh, song, and Corey's lives over there on my Patreon. All right. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.